guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to be installing a roof vent and painting my entire roof because it's been pretty sun weathered and the paint is starting to crack up and stuff and i just like to give it a um, a freshing fresh paint job along with mounting the roof vent i'm also going to be hopefully adding some wire inlets for the solar panel that i have on the roof light bar system that's going to be going up there eventually and a few other things um this has been a long time coming for me and uh, i'm really hoping to get it all done today in this video i tried to do it in the last video but in the last video we actually rebuilt my entire roof rack if you guys haven't seen that i suggest you go check it out it's uh it was a pretty fun job you know i even had a little hand from a german carpenter as we'll call it <laughs> and i'm glad i did because it came out really nice a lot better than i think i could have done even by myself there's a lot of balancing with getting everything all lined up properly and stuff like that but today my main goal is to get that roof vent in and paint the entire thing up so with that being said let's jump right into it and uh, hopefully this video won't be like an hour long <laughs> but if it is then uh, hopefully you guys can learn something from this and uh, maybe I'll learn something as well. I've installed a number of roof vents before, but I've always been nervous to install them on my own vans. I've lived in vehicles before with and without roof vents, and I've kind of always preferred them without because um, just personal preference. But with it being so humid where I am right now, I'm currently in Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. And um, up near Campbell River, well, I guess all over the island, really, and all over the West Coast, it's pretty humid. And uh, I've been living in Alberta in a vehicle for a number of years where it's extremely dry, extremely cold. So I'm hoping to avoid that this winter. And we're also building this van out sort of on a budget, but with a vision in mind to have like a hot rod show van once I'm done that I can live in. Um, if you guys haven't already, uh, I did a full van tour showing a few things that are inside. I will be building more of the inside as I get through the steps, but one of the steps I need to do is get the wiring and stuff done on the roof before I cover that all up. I, uh, I want to do all the wiring and stuff on my van pretty much before I do any of the interior insulation, uh, wood panels on the walls, and stuff like that. And uh, that doesn't mean that necessarily my wires are going to be hidden behind my walls, but I do want to get the wires routed so I know what and where to cover and um, it just kind of makes things easier than uh, m you know maneuvering around wood panels and stuff like that allows me more access is what I'm saying but yeah nonetheless we'll get it done let's get on this well, before I start this job I'm actually gonna do some cleanup uh, there's again a number of pieces of garbage around here I do have gloves this time like you guys all mentioned and I also mentioned myself to get them or that I would get them but uh, I did my van tour here not long ago and again it looks like people have been here dropping more garbage so I'm gonna do a quick cleanup before I start my van building so that anybody who comes by can see like you know I'm not trying to make a mess um, if anything, I'm trying to keep the area clean. Like I mentioned in a few videos before, uh, you guys are gonna see me cleaning up some garbage while I'm on Vancouver Island. And that is to lead by example that we should all kind of do the same. Um, you know, we have a beautiful country here and I think that we should all kind of take care of it and not do this stuff, you guys. It's so easy to just put it in a garbage can and get rid of it where 
we should get rid of it. I actually have a bit of garbage in my van right now. Oh, I don't want to touch my doorknob. Hang on. Now, some of this garbage is obviously me, but some of it is also uh, just from stuff that I found all around Campbell River. And, uh, yeah, like I mentioned, you guys are going to see me doing this a little bit to lead by example. I have been doing it a lot off camera, actually. Um, there's quite a bit of garbage around this area. I noticed that down around Nanaimo, it was actually really bad. Um, so maybe when I go back down there, I'll try and clean up a bit more. But if you guys see some garbage around, you know, don't be afraid to grab a rubber glove and just do your part as well. Just try to keep the areas clean. And, uh, yeah, you know, together I think we can clean up this country and uh, create a good example for others. Okay, now that I've got some garbage cleaned up, the area is looking a little better. We can hop right on. First step is going to be getting that roof rack off again. Uh, in the last video, you guys see me build it. And in this video, you're gonna see me take it off. And that's mainly just to uh, give me better access to sand and paint the entire thing. It will be going back on. And then I'm thinking I might paint it all black just to kind of blend in together and not stand out so much. I do like the wood look, but I feel like a black would look a lot nicer. Uh, once the roof vents in, then I can kind of measure out how many more solar panels I can fit on there. I'd like to fit three if possible. Right now I have one right here. So if I could fit another one behind it, do the roof vent here, and then maybe another one at the back, but we'll see. Um, along with all of that, we're going to be putting a uh, light bar system on the van. And um, sorry for the noise, you guys. We have... Um, a hill and a busy road right next to me um but yeah we're going to get on doing that <sighs> i've been extremely busy lately uh, just doing side jobs and everything i even met up with a subscriber today just as i was in the mcdonald's parking lot doing the premiere uh of my one of my previous videos you guys have already probably seen um who gave me two more numbers for some uh jobs possible jobs around the area so you know like i said i'll be doing as many side jobs as i can to help fund this van build fund some adventures and stuff like that right now yes i do youtube and that creates a bit of an income but with this with me being a small channel you know that doesn't mean that it, you know it creates a huge income um it allows me and you guys all supporting with watching all of the videos in full <laughs> um and all of you who have you know graciously gave paypals and stuff like that which i really really appreciate man like that means the world to me that will all contribute to helping build this van out and going on some adventures while i'm here on vancouver island yeah enough talking let's get to building well disassembling sanding, cutting a huge hole, and then building, yeah, something like that. I'm just going to take this hat off first. Whew, it's getting warm already. So I came to this shaded area um, because I don't want the paint, and also just for working on a roof on a black van. Um, be a little easier and I don't want the paint to like bake on there if you know what I mean uh, even on the cans and stuff it was recommended to uh, well, on the instructions of the can to uh, not do it in the direct sun or extreme heat and I hear today is supposed to be pretty warm so with that being said it's best if I came in a shaded area if possible to do this um which i have god i really good. hope you guys can hear me this ladder is all absolutely awesome and has been coming in handy so much this this hill is extremely loud um i should have used my mic 
for doing the van tour, but the YouTube stuff is a learning process for me, you know what I mean? So, this is the Max Air Fan uh, roof vent that we're going to be installing today. It, gave, it was given to me by a subscriber. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'm not sure of the exact model or whatnot, but I'll put it into a picture next to me here. It's going to be a lot of editing. But yeah, it'll be here. Um, but yeah, that will be going in today. That is the main task of the day, really. Um, along with, like I said, painting and everything on the roof. I still have my old roof rack rails in here. Um, that I'm going to have to get rid of eventually. But I'm hoping that maybe, because they're aluminum, you know, and um, they're pretty cool shape to them. Um, so I might even be able to use them somewhere else on the van build. I'm not too sure. But right now, I need to get my tools out. And then get the roof rack off. Before we get into um, sanding and painting. So that's the task right now. And that's what I'm doing. And also get some water in you. Because... It's going to get hot today. Oh, yeah. I'm actually going to end up probably taking these jeans off because I don't have very many clean jeans left. With all the side jobs and work I do, it's hard to keep stuff clean. Um, so, yeah. I'll probably see a wardrobe change, or at least the bottom half, the shirt I'm not too worried about. It's black, whatever. Um, but yeah, we're going to do that. Oh my god, this toolbox is like a million pounds. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh. Ow. Oh. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Boom. So, with that being all opened up a little bit, I'm probably going to have to go in the back for more tools anyway. But, yeah. We're going to get on. Oh, I gotta take that tub off my roof. I'm hoping to put that tub somewhere in the van. Where? Don't ask me. But uh, the tub is eventually gonna disappear as we build the van out. Because the tub, it just contains like a bunch of stuff that will eventually be going in and on the van, like interior lights and stuff like that. Uh, but for right now, I gotta get it out of my way so I can do the sanding and the painting and all of that stuff. And once it's painted up there, I don't want to be scratching it up with fresh paint. So I'll probably, uh, I'm going to have to um, stuff it in the van with me. I've been sleeping with my fan. <laughs> that sounds pretty funny. But <laughs> I've been uh, sleeping with my fan, so I'll maybe even, I don't know, put that tub on my bed. I've got a pretty wide bed, so I could still have room to sleep with it. But it'll just motivate me to get the stuff out of the tub and installed on the van if anything so yeah first things first remove this roof rack get the tub off my roof <sighs> I'm going to need to come back in here a number of times, but I'm just closing it because the last time I was here, I seen a pretty big bug on this log and I don't want him to make his way in my van. You know what I mean? Um, he might have already, I don't know, but I haven't seen him, so there's that. Okay, okay, let's get up on the roof and then get this tub down. Uh. Also, Mr. Blur, if you're watching this video, you've still got the hooks for my roof rack, man. I'm doing fine without it, but uh, please don't throw them out on me. That would be nice. Because they can hook into the roof rack right here and be a little more sturdy. Where I'm at right now is on a massive hill. Um, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, let's undo some of these newfie knots and get this ratchet strap off so we can get the tub out of the way. Do, 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 do. Cue um, some music or something. If not, Cut to another scene, man. Maybe a different camera angle would be cool. 
Oh, but then I gotta get off the roof and do that. I just wanna do stuff, get it done. Some people are really good at that. For me, I just wanna do the thing, you know? <laughs> uh, does anybody even watch these videos in full, or am I just rambling to myself? Whatever. I'm having fun. That's the main thing. <sighs> Did you cue a different camera angle yet, or can anybody even see what I'm doing up here? Who knows? Okay, this is out of the way. Almost. I'm not even sure you guys can see me up here with a camera angle for the back door. I need, like, a camera crew, man, you know? Travel with me in a different van. Go all professional and stuff. <laughs> now with your 8,000 subs, bud. Okay. Let's see what the camera angle even looks like. Glad all of this stuff is mounted in the van. Oh. Oh. I had to drop the mic because I realized my phone was dying. Because I always pick the best times and I'm very professional. So, you know. Okay. What was I doing? What was I doing? Where do I go with not being able to speak again? Where's my water? We're off to a good start already with not knowing where anything is. Found it. Ah, I'm drinking so much water in my dang life. For those of you who are curious what mic I use, I don't know what it's called, but it's this one. It's a very cool little unit. But boom, just plugs into my phone. Mic goes on the chest. It's been amazing. I have a few other ones, but that one seems to be my favorite and it seems to have the best quality. You guys tell me. I'm talking to you on the phone camera right now. With the traffic, you probably can't even hear me. But that mic is great. Let me bring you up here with me. I got all four corners off. Well, three corners. This is the last corner I have to get off. I'm going to be switching these bolts out, I think, with just normal bolts. Because these ones, I've tightened them before and they're just super brittle. And they just snap if you try and tighten them a little too much. I have some other bolts down here that I'll end up using. But <laughs> it's very tight to get in back here. So I'll just do it and then uh, you guys know what I did. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's get this done. And then this is the last corner I need to rem uh, loosen. And then we can pull the roof rack off. That's going to be fun all by myself. Okay, you guys. I got the microphone back on. I got everything loose. Let's give this a try. Um, yeah. The new viewers are thinking, surely he's got a plan. Surely he knows what he's doing. And then my OG subscribers are like, oh. This is going to be hilarious. This guy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> and that would be true. That would be very true. My thought is that if I could use this ladder to... Um, let's go on here. Let's see. If I could use this ladder to get under both roof rack links, then oof, I should be able to... I should be able to uh, pick it all up at once and then kind of shimmy my way back with it. So we're going to see if this works or if I die. 
No, nah, probably won't. I don't get hurt. You never know. Either way, I think it needs to get done. And um, people love entertainment like that. I don't know why, but yeah. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Okay, step in the ladder. And the way we go. Oh, oh. I think it's gonna work. Oh, I know what happened here. There we go. There we go. Loosen them off from their position would be nice. Okay, okay. It seems like. I'm sorry, Ruth. I'm sorry. This will be the last day. Hopefully, this will be the last day, buddy. I won't be up here no more. <laughs> Nor do I want to. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be way too heavy with the ladder, so. That was a fail. Ugh. I don't need him to get down either way, so. Let's put that back. Oh, no. It's actually a neat little feature, I didn't realize. There we go. There. That would be there. Okay, let's uh, try a different method. Oh, I'm getting pretty low hit. Need something to eat very soon. Very soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just see if we can shimmy. Get back. Oh no. What if we do this? There we go. There we go. Now you're kind of using your brain for once. Light end this way, heavy end. Come down last. Yeah. Oh, don't ask me how I'm getting this back up. <laughs> My only thought is very violent. Okay, okay. And we have landing. And then... I also blocked your ladder. Genius. Pure genius. Okay, well, I didn't have a ladder before. Back in the day. Back in the day. So we'll just do it that way. Okay. Seem like a success? I don't know. Didn't die, didn't get hurt. I, I'll call that a success. Now we have two. Oh my god. That front portion is pretty heavy. You know what? I think I'm just going to try and keep them stood up. And then just kind of... Oh my god, that's heavy. Why did you do this by yourself? Ugh. Because all my helpers are not around right now. Okay. Yes. Move the ladder. Uh, don't drop the thing in the bob. Okay, lean. Oh my god. Balance the two things at once. Sorry, ladder. I really am. Um, let's do there. And there. Okay. Well. Well. Kind of worked it, I guess. Put that there for now. Let's get a little more straight up to this thing. Oh my god. Yeah, build it first. Build it first. Genius. This guy knows what he's doing. Okay. But hopefully, this will be the last time this comes off. First and the last time it comes off. Hopefully. Who knows? But now that it's off, we can get to uh, sanding and then prepping for paint. My thought is I'm going to sand the entire. Oh, excuse me. Sand the entire roof. And then cut the hole for the roof vent. Paint around where the roof vent's going to be. Install the roof vent. And then, because I'm just going to install the roof rent, vent, um, I'll show you. Uh, come on, come off. Jumps. So, this is the main portion that needs to get sealed down. And then, by these four screws, the roof vent actually sits in there. 
Um, so this is like the main install portion of it. So my thought is cut the whole sand, sand, paint the square around this um, so that it can adhere goodly, goodly. This guy's a genius. Um, but yeah, uh, I'd paint around it so that I can adhere around it. And then maybe I'll put a bag over this to kind of try and keep it white. But if it doesn't stay white, whatever. Um, the main thing I don't want to make look like crap is that roof fan itself. So while this is in and all of it's kind of sitting and doing its thing, curing, we can go and paint the rest of the roof. And once it's all dry and uh, I can kind of go back up there for the last time and put the roof vent in. I'll probably put the um, I'll probably put the roof rack on first before installing the fan to avoid hitting it. That would be the smarter way to do it. And I also just realized that I didn't mark out where any of this went. Like these pieces. So I don't know. I'll just measure it out again when it goes up and make sure everything's square. Um, yeah, like I said in the beginning, you're learning something, I'm learning something, we're all going to mess it up. I mean. Okay, you guys, we've got, first and foremost, water. Um, but I have sandpaper, got a sanding block. And for those who are worried about my health and all of that stuff, um, I got some uh, respirators or masks or whatever you want to call them. I do have a full uh, respirator with two things on the side, but I'm outside, so I think that's a bit excessive. These will do just fine. Um, I'll use one. Oh yeah, I'll use one for painting and then another for uh, sanding. That way I keep them separated. And also, by the time I'm done sanding, I'm gonna feeling that. It's gonna be so sweaty, I'm gonna wanna change it anyway. So, yeah, we got two of those bad boys. This actually came from Mr. Blur back in Calgary. Uh, held on to them for a very long time for a job such as this. I got that puppy. Ha! Now people are gonna think I'm making meth back here. <laughs> oh, van life. I'm just glad I'm not in a motorhome anymore because that would have really looked like it. Okay, now we gotta make some sandpaper cuts so that we can get the block all ready. And what I'm just gonna do here is kind of just do this here, little thing. I'm not gonna cut them all at once. Think with your head. So right here, I'm just gonna. Okay, I just need to mark it with a pen and then do it properly like that. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Cue some music. I don't know. I don't know. Do I even put music in this video? Or do I just wing it? You know? There we go. Something like that. And then we can quick cut this jelly to get it later. Right now. Make sure you cut towards your knee so that you cut it off. Oh look at that, the traffic died down for 30 seconds. That's nice. Okay, so I'll lift this guy right here. Ow. Stick them in there. Something like that. Make sure it's not straight. And then we're going to cut the axis off right here. Um, I've never really been a fan of these sanding blocks. I've more of been doing it by hand. But over the years, my hands have definitely been taking the brunt of that situation. But I will probably end up pulling that off and using the little strips that are folded in here for just little tight corners and areas like that. Just so y'all know. 
Okay. Boom. Okay, this is gonna be for the main face of it, and then I'm also going to to put this bugger right here on a drill and then do the rougher areas as well. So we have two styles of sanding, I think. And then also, I have this thing, but I have this and a hacksaw as well. I have an actual hacksaw, but in a pinch, I could use my little handmade um, hacksaw prison shank. I don't know what you call that. But yeah, I have a few forms of cutting the hole. But for right now, we're gonna hop up, do some sanding, prep the surface area. And then once the whole roof is sanded, I'm probably gonna hop inside, measure out where the roof vent will go, and then drill a pilot hole. I'll explain it as I'm doing it. Okay, let's go on the roof. What are you doing over here? So we're gonna get on uh, sanding and buffer wheeling this uh, roof here. I'm gonna save you guys the pain of that because it's already hurting me just thinking about it. So yeah, I'll catch up with you guys when we get the whole thing sanded and prepped. Uh, V54, nothing to a giant, waited my turn, call it perfect time and trust the most high, got the stars aligned and I was tapped in, I've been strategizing dreams coming true, I've been fantasizing while you criticize, pay attention to the signs, symbolize, feel like a legend, they go wide the lies, ayy, I'm a hero where my cake, independent leader made a way. I'm the people's voice here, people right. Stuck to my pace to turn away the way. Hey, you guys. I just about got the entire roof sanded all the way back. I'm gonna need to clean this up. Sorry for the noise. It's been extremely noisy here. Um, but while I was up here sanding, I realized that I didn't get a, um, I didn't get a gun, um, silicone gun to put the lap sealant on. So I'm not gonna be able to put the roof vent in right now. Cause, and I'm glad I realized that before I pulled, or I cut the hole in my roof because I would've been driving back with literally a hole in my roof. So, um, my thought is I hate doing it this way, but I'm gonna keep sanding, prep the roof, paint it, and then put the roof rack back on. And then once I got that done, I'm gonna have to run back into town. I should've did this by Home Depot Park a lot, but it's a lot of dust and a lot of noise to um, do in town and I wouldn't have wanted a complaint right here. It's loud enough as you can hear at times that uh, no one really bothers. No one, I'm on a hill, so no one's gonna stop anyway. Uh, I knew I was forgetting something. Shit, okay. But it's getting pretty late anyway. Um, I'm not gonna have this done by today. And I don't know how long this video is getting, so I guess you're going to get a video one step at a time kind of thing. Shit. So I'm going to finish sanding, prep it, paint it, and then uh, go back into town. That's all we can do. And then I'll put the roof end in tomorrow morning. With everything else being done, that should be a pretty simple do job. That basically just cutting a hole in the roof. Um, but regardless, we'll get it done. Back here, let me show you guys right quick. As you can see, I've been sanding away, sanding away, sanding away. 
using that buffer wheel to get at some of these real deep uh, rust spots, but it's coming up really nice, uh, getting all the rust out of that, so that's cool. But back here, it looks like there was some kind of um, maybe antenna or something. And I was buffing around it because I was like, ah, I'll throw some lap sealant on this as well to give it some freshening up. And that's where I realized I don't have a silicone gun. So with that being said, man, what a pain in the butt. Uh, once I got the roof prepped and painted and it's drying, I'm gonna come up here and then I have some angle brackets that I'm gonna put in here to sturdy that up a little extra. Uh, so we could do that while we're waiting for the paint to dry. And then try and get the roof rack on without scratching the, the roof. When I go to cut the roof vent hole, I should be able to lean on this thing and not have to touch the roof at all. Um, Cause I don't want to scratch it. Like I mentioned, I don't want to scratch this. I did take my shirt off because it was just blistering heat. Once I got like halfways into sanding, I quickly uh, realized that the sun was coming right for me and it got hot quick. So, whew, Ugh. dang it. Um, but yeah, that's it. You know, that's all we can do. Uh, just gonna have to roll with it in a way. That's a bummer, but um, we'll get through it. I've only got the gutters right here to sand. I've gotten the front done, so I was just sanding the gutters as I go, but we're about here to back and on the other side about the same. Um, I'm gonna need to finish it off, so that's about the last of the sanding. Then I can prep the surface for um, paint. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Um, I also stopped real quick for a quick bite to eat. Just a couple peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Uh, but, oh man, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. Yeah. So, that's what we shall do. Uh, let me put you in here. So yeah, that's what we'll, ha we'll have to do. Um, and at least the dirtiest part of the job will be done and I can go back into town and cutting the hole in the roof won't be exactly like a lot of dust and a lot of noise like this is. It's gonna be some noise, but I'll just go somewhere uh, quiet. And it's also something I can kind of do like in the evening because it's not going to take all day like this has. And I won't have to remove a bunch of stuff from my uh, roof in order to do the roof in. So it kind of worked out, but it's kind of a bummer all at the same time. I wish I could have got it all done at once. But one step at a time and we'll get it done either way. So... I'm going to finish sanding. I'll check in with you guys, maybe throw a quick clip of me just kind of cleaning the surface and getting ready for paint. And maybe a quick little time lapse of me painting the roof because I want to see that in real time, or in like a time lapse as well. So yeah, we'll get that done. And then we'll see where this video lands for length. And a lot of people cry about me having long videos, but it is what it is. I don't plan for the length of my videos you know I just film it and then it is what it is I feel like my true subscribers and people that are truly interested will watch it either way but I understand the attention span of some are pretty short nowadays so personally if I enjoy a channel and I uh, I want to help support them in any kind of way I can't financially myself either but helping support the channel does not mean donating in any kind of money way the best way to help support any kind of channel is to literally just watch the entire videos in full. Um, one of the channels that I've uh, grown to enjoy about that is actually Vice Grip Garage. Uh, he has like hour, hour and a half long videos of him restoring cars. Mind you, his are a lot more interesting than mine, but I always tend to watch it in full length, even if that means putting it on before bed and then falling asleep to it, you know? 
Uh, I was that's the that's the way I felt like I could help support that channel, and uh, you know look at him now he's <laughs> still doing the thing you know he's doing good with it he's raising a family through it it's a beautiful thing so if anybody thinks that they can't help support a channel just know if you watch the videos fully through you hit that like button and subscribe button hey you're supporting the channel in humongous ways even though it doesn't seem like it you absolutely are because watch hours are what helps a channel grow and it helps us in revenue add uh, commercial revenue add revenue all of that stuff that comes through in watch hours so just know that if you've been watching my videos in full length you've been helping support the channel very greatly and i greatly appreciate you for doing that anyway enough talking i don't want to make the video any longer than it has to be let's get back to work Okay, you guys, after a extremely heavy wipe with some, I don't know, it was like acetone or something. What is it? Surface cleaner. Contains a bunch of stuff to clean surface. Um, we have, I gotta dry that spot up actually. We have a clean paint ready roof I have not touched the surface at all and it's been real tricky especially getting around this thing oh my god but we're basically ready to paint once that little bit there dries I have some painter's tape right along here. I'm gonna try and block that off as best I can, but I'll probably spray from this way, pointing that way to avoid the overspray on the taillights. And for the window, I had to sacrifice my bed sheet, man. I didn't have anything else. I didn't plan for that at all. Um, even though the window's cracked up and it needs to be replaced, I wanted to, uh, not fog myself out with a bunch of overspray. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys had questions on that and how I was gonna do it. And that's what we had to do, you know. I painters taped it all off up here. Oh, all the way over here. This thing's definitely gonna need a wash afterwards because I can't, I just can't wipe the whole van down. Uh, but I'm only focusing on the roof, so that's that'll be fine once everything's cured i'm thinking as i'm exhausted man i'm exhausted had a couple little snacks but i'm totally exhausted um so once that little bit of stuff dries up there should be getting close right now it dries pretty fast i'm going to get up there and spray the roof uh spray paint the roof with that rust paint and I've been thinking, I'm gonna see if I could do the entire roof with the silver. That way it's kind of all one color. And if I have black left over, I might use it on the roof rack itself. But if I run out of silver halfway, then I'll probably do black right in the middle just cause it's gonna be the least seen. Oh, I'm so tired, but we're getting it done. We're getting it done. Hustle, hustle. So yeah. Um, Now, I'm gonna set the time lapse up, see if I can get my camera high enough uh, to show you guys the paint that's gonna be going on. So, which reminds me, I gotta move this ladder so I can even get in my door to get out the paint. And that should be good for that. So, oh, cue the painting time lapse. Right now, like, come on. Let's get to it. Come on. Now. Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah, Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picked another pieces. Gotta me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new era, about to snap back. You ain't fitting for it because you all cap like. Hold up. I shoot my shot. Wait, hold up. I'm really about to run this. Go up. You know it's all net when it go up. Got no other plans, you don't need to understand. Ay. We on overtime, you don't need to understand. Ay. You just show them how to 
You guys are seeing what I'm saying, ain't you? Demonetized. We basically got it all done. Uh, the silver actually looks not too bad. But after painting the black, I'm really becoming a fan of the black a lot more. Stop it. I mean, the color. Thank you very much. Uh, the silver is nice, but it doesn't seem to for as well as the black does. Um, as you can see right here, that was a little bit of the pitting that was there. I did get all that rust out of there, gave it a complete cleaning. Uh, but the black just, it covers so much better, you guys. I don't know. Um, and it covers so much better. Like, uh, I was thinking silver because it will help with the heat. So, you know, not taking so much heat. But the silver, you can really see, like, it's not covering the way I'd like it to. Mind you, no one's going to see this ever. It's mainly just for rust preventative. But I think I might go back and get a can of black paint and just see what I could do. Um, the roof vent is going to be somewhere in this nut sack right here. Um, but yeah, if anybody sees this bow in my roof, don't worry about it. Um, I just got to kick that back up and it'll be fine. It's just because that tub was sitting on here. I have kicked it up a number of times before. It's fine. Um, oh! Ugh. Like I said, I'm on a massive hill right here. You guys can't really tell it on camera. Um, maybe I'll try and set my camera up to uh, level. But like, that's probably level with the earth. Yeah, massive hill. But I mean, it's painted. I think maybe instead of going all black, I might do uh, get another can of silver for this front face because this will be exposed all the time. Um, so maybe I'll do another can of silver and another can of black just to kind of give a full, like, thick coat on it. But... No caulking gun and... <laughs> well, you know what? Oh man, you can't you can't script this shit. Anyway, I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna get myself something to eat. Clean up a little bit of mess here. Uh, that's the garbage and stuff that that's the garbage and stuff that I found here. I got my two cans. This is the sandpaper and all that stuff. So I'm gonna bag all of that up, clean everything up, and uh, I'm not gonna be able to make Canadian Tire tonight. Yeah, but I'm gonna clean everything up and then I'm going to put the roof rack on maybe I'll time lapse that too that's gonna be quite funny but yeah I think that's it for tonight Ugh. anyway yeah so I'll do all of that and then I'll check in with you guys when I've got everything in the lot. After this clip, if anything, I'll just put a time lapse of me trying to get this roof rock back on the roof without stepping on it. See you guys in a bit. Okay, you guys, after making some craft dinner and tuna, snacking on some crackers, I'm absolutely done. Um, with yesterday's roof vent, er, <laughs> I haven't even got to the roof vent yet. With yesterday's roof rack and then today's painting of the roof, 
And then tomorrow's roof event. Yeah, we're doing it tomorrow. I'm absolutely beat with everything else I got going on in between. Little side gigs here and there. Ended up doing one before I came out here to do this. And then now, even still, I've got a bunch of editing to do. I'm, I'm just done. And even I'm sleeping with some roof rack rails tonight. So that's great. I might even just pull them out, put them next to the van. Because as you guys can see right here, I still need to clean up my mess. And also I didn't get the roof rack on the van yet. So that will be tomorrow's task. And then I can go into town and get some more paint to finish off the roof and then install the roof vent. Ruff, paint and a, what's it called? A gun, cock gun. <laughs> anyway, with all that being said, um, we're gonna end the video off here. And we will do the roof vent in the next one. This is going to be a trilogy of roof stuff on my van. But it is what it is. Um, I got no words. <laughs> I'm just tired. Uh, we'll get it in tomorrow. And then after that, I think I need a day by the lake. I think that would be nice. And also, it would give me a chance to test out how my roof rack's going to do when we get it up to speed. Yeah. We'll do that. But, until next time, you guys, never give up on living life. Because life is the most precious thing we have. I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> I'm so tired. Oh, I'll see you guys then. Have a good night.